I'm back. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video and I've had some stuff going on. Uh, as most of you may know, my husband Jason had stage three head and neck cancer. He has gone through treatment, chemotherapy and radiation. He's doing well. Um, he's just having a little bit of a hard time eating because of metallic taste in his mouth. Um, but hopefully he'll get he'll get there, but he is doing much better. Um, I'm changing it up a little bit on my channel. Um, I've been diabetic for quite a few years and been on different medications. I've tried different insulins. They just don't work. My body just won't accept them. Um, I've gotten very sick and ended up going to the ER from taking insulin shots. Um, as of right now, I started February 1st. I started the keto low carb diet. Um, I've been doing pretty good with it. My blood sugars are staying below 200, which they were anywhere from 350 to 400 before. I am taking one metformin at night. Um, it seems to be okay. My morning sugars are still a little bit high, but throughout the day they're going down. Um, so I wanted to include this on my channel, um, as well as other things that we do that you've watched. So I thought that I would include that in my channel, keto eating, low carb, um, no sugar. I was drinking two, two liters of diet Pepsi a day, and I've gone down to one 12 ounce can a day. I love diet Pepsi. I always have, um, the first week uh, when I cut out the soda and the carbs and everything it was horrible I was so sick to my stomach headache nauseous um, but it's I've looked things up did a lot of research uh, watched some videos online and it's totally normal I pushed through and I'm doing better I haven't lost a lot of weight I've lost about five pounds but I've lost inches I can tell in my clothes my clothes are baggy I can tell in overall the way I feel, and I feel so much better. I have a little more energy, and it's getting better. Um, the inflammation in my knees and hips and stuff are gone. So I'm a true believer in trying it for myself. If it works for me, excellent. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay. To each their own. Um, and I'm just putting a disclaimer out there. I, I am not a professional when it comes to fasting, low carb, keto, all that stuff. I, I only do what my body will let me do. Um, make sure that you talk to your doctor about it, which I did. I asked her if she thought that low carb, no sugar, you know, fasting, would help with my blood sugar because I didn't want it. I was at the end of my rope taking medications. I couldn't take any of it. And she said, go for it. If it works, go for it. Um, she was right on board with it. My blood pressure has gone down, staying stable. Um, just overall mental health too. Uh, it's getting clearer in my brain. You know, things are just, it's, it's, it's positive to me. Um, and like I said, to each their own, if you can't handle it, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up. Um, if you fall off the wagon, it's okay. It's, it's really okay. You know, it's hard. It's like smoking. I'm still smoking. Yes, I'm still smoking, but I need to get, I, smoking is terrible for you. Yes, I know that, but I needed to get my blood sugar under control or it was going to give me kidney disease, liver, um, heart disease, all that stuff. And I know smoking will too, but I, my doctor's like, let's just do one thing at a time. And the most important thing was getting my blood sugar under control. It is not completely under control, but it's getting there and it's working. It's working for me. And if you like to try, I mean, I fast too. I stop eating at six o'clock at night and I don't eat anything until noontime the next day. 
and I feel better, I sleep better, I can move around better. Um, I do exercise on my exercise bike. I can only do about maybe 20 minutes then because I'm out of shape. And I, I didn't think I could really do this. I really didn't think that I could cut out carbs, cut out sugars, cut out sodas. I didn't think I could do it. And I've done it and I hope I can continue to do it. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Um, but I wanted to give you that update about Jason and the update about what I'm doing with eating and things like that. I'm still gonna, you know, do my pets, our chickens. We just got some new baby chickens. Uh, we got six um, Bard Rocks and two Rhode Island Reds and four Astrolots. So I'm excited to show you videos on those little guys, um, show you videos on our big girls. Um, but I did go, Jason had an appointment today. Um, and it's about oh, probably 65, 70 miles from us. We, we live in a little town in Millnockett, Maine, and we have Subway, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, and Tractor Supply, McDonald's, and a Hannaford. We don't have like Walmart or these big grocery stores, you know, and our Hannaford only carries so much stuff. So he had an appointment in Bangor, so I said, let's just go grocery shopping. So we went to a store called BJ's, and it's similar to Sam's Club. It's all bulk buying. And we went to Walmart. And I wanted to show you guys some of the foods that I bought that I eat a lot of. I did do a haul on BJ's and Walmart when we got home. We put everything together. Um, so I took a video of that. I'd like to show you what I eat. Um, I'm going to try and do some recipes. If anyone is interested in that, comment below. Um, I found some keto brownies, which I can't wait to try. Um, with some chocolate chips in there. No sugar chocolate chips. Um, in the video, you'll see that I bought some Atkins bars, coconut and peanut butter. And after I had supper, I had a big salad. And after I had supper, I tried one of the coconut bars and they are excellent very rich but it will take care of that sweet tooth that you need you know like something after you eat supper you want something really sweet after you eat it's really good but it is very rich um so yeah uh if you're new to my channel my name's kim um i just started out not too long ago haven't been doing too much um since my husband was diagnosed and so I uh, we're doing better and I want to get back into it um, I want to do some cooking I have videos on my channel that are not keto and I have put a playlist for those non keto meals um, and I'll put that up here if anyone wants to watch that playlist uh, there's a corn chowder there's pizza you know he, he makes beef jerky. That's all in that playlist. And then I'm going to have one playlist of just keto. Keto foods. That way people, if they want to look at this one where it's regular food or this one where it's keto food. or um, So I'll have those in the playlist. Go check it out. If you're new, welcome. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me out. So let's get right into the grocery haul. BJ's and Walmart. Okay guys, so let's start with BJ's. And BJ's is like Sam's Club. You know, you can buy in bulk. So over here, I've been eating a lot of eggs. Um, I have my own chickens, but they're not laying eggs enough for as many as I eat. So I got five dozen of those, the large eggs. They're white. And I had a coupon for these, so I thought I'd try it. It's the Atkins. Um, there's 22 peanut butter cups and 11 chocolate coconut. And it says one to two net carbs, zero to one gram of sugar. And these are the macros on the back. So the, uh, which one are the, okay. These are the peanut butter ones, nine grams of carbs and you subtract 
two for dietary, and six for sugar alcohol. So that's one gram. Whoops. And then over here for the chocolate coconut, they are 19 grams of carbs, nine grams of fiber, and eight of sugar alcohol, which you can deduct 17. So those are two grams. So that's not too bad for a snack, which I'm always in the mood for something sweet. So that was a good deal. Like I said, I had like a $4 coupon off in those. And then I had a coupon off the Premier Protein. I do like the chocolate. And these are 30 grams of protein. Um, let's see if I can get... And I think they're all, there's only one gram of sugar. And I think there's only like five grams of carbs. Let me see, I've got one over here. Yeah, here's, I have one of these that I was drinking. So it's five grams of carbs, three fibers, dietary fiber. So they're like two grams. Two grams of carbs and a lot of protein. And I do like these. I like them in my coffee instead of creamer because creamer... Even though you buy sugar-free creamer, it still has maltodextrin in it, and maltodextrin is a sugar, and it will raise your blood sugar. So this is the Rayo's um, tomato basil spaghetti sauce, and this is the one that I have found that has the less amount of sh the less amount of sugar. So six grams of carbs. So that's not too bad, and that's for half a cup. So that's not too, too bad. And then I got some avocado oil, which is a really good fat. Um, this and olive oil is a really good fat to cook on. I eat a lot of sausage links, and they had three in a pack for $8. You know, three, three packs of it for $8. I thought that was a good deal when I pay for something for just one at the grocery store. And then I got two of these black label fully cooked bacon. Um, I eat a lot of bacon too. Um, there's zero carbs, zero, I mean, these are good fats too. There's 36 thick cut slices in here, 12 ounces. So I grabbed two of those. Um, Jason opened these. We got some, we got, well, they're teriyaki. Beef jerkies. You got the original and the teriyaki. Six packs of cream cheese. Um, I go through a lot of this when I make my chaffles and different things like that. So I mean, there's no carbs in it. And there's a little bit of protein. These are really good. String cheese is a staple in my house. If I just want to munch on something, I will grab a thing of string cheese. And let's see if I can get this. Uh, zero carbs, zero sugar, 90 calories. Um, I go through these a lot. Look at those. I got a big box of Slim Jims. These are the snack size. These are good too if you just want a snack. They don't have, um, there's only one gram of carb. There's even one gram of protein. So these are really good for a snack. I always have these on hand. Got the dogs a big bag of pepperoni. I had a coupon for that. I had a $5 off coupon for a Smithfield spiral ham and spiral ham is my favorite. So I got this one for like 13 bucks. Um, it's what, 12 pounds? And I love spiral ham. And I'm gonna cook that tomorrow. <laughs> Go through a lot of butter. We both, I mean, real butter, we just, we go through a lot of it. I use it as my good fats. Um, and like I said, you do you, you can do you. But it's so much better with butter. You can have butter, it tastes good and it's a good fat. And I got six cans of the chicken breast and water. I love making this up, put mayonnaise in it or just throwing it in my salad or whatever instead of cooking a big chicken. Um, for, I got the avocado oil spray, cooking spray, and this has no carbs or anything in it. 
and this is good in place of just regular cooking spray. I needed some storage bags. So I got, there's four of those. And these were only like, I think $13 for four packs of 40. And they're quart size. And I got some paper plates because who wants to do dishes all the time? And speaking of dishes, I got some Dawn, this big one. And we love the Dawn Power Wash. And we got the Dawn Power Wash. We use it for everything. It really cleans your dishes, like really good. Baked Dawn foods. I even use it on my car. Everything. I have a video, and uh, I'll link it up top, where I use Dawn Power Wash to get the bugs off my car. So I'll link that video up, up top. I use these, um, I love to clean my toilet with these because you can just throw them away. It's so much more sanitary and it does a really good job of scrubbing. This one comes, I have the handle, but this one came with a handle and it was a good deal. So, and we got garbage bags. I always need garbage bags. And then down here, um, I needed some laundry soap. I needed some laundry soap, so we got that big thing of laundry soap. I had a coupon for like $4 off in that. I was drinking a lot of soda every day. Two, two liters. I am down to one can, 12 ounce can a day. And I figured, might as well just grab one of these. I can just keep throwing them in the refrigerator when I need them. Um, it was hard to get rid of my soda because I love Diet Pepsi. And Jason got a big thing of Sprite. He usually has one of those a day. These were just so much cheaper. These were only like 11 bucks for each one of these into BJ's. So that's my BJ haul. And we will get on to the Walmart one. All right, so now we're gonna start on the Walmart haul. And Jason drinks this coffee creamer. So we got two of those. They don't have the big ones up here. So we got him two of those. Got some Black Forest ham for sandwiches or salads. I love Jello, And I, ha I found three cans of the sugar-free whipped heavy cream. And there's no carbs, no sugar. So I got three of those. Those are good on anything really um got a big thing is spring mix i i don't eat this because i don't i don't like it but i buy it for our chickens and they love it it's just a big thing it's got baby lettuce baby greens different things in it and also this isn't keto friendly it's canned corn we get those for our chickens too they love canned corn. I got this for my supper. Southwest style salad. Um, it's got cheese and lettuce and chicken. Seasoned chicken. Two cans of Spam. You can fry it up. I like cutting it up and putting it in mayonnaise and pickles. There's only one gram of carb. So that's pretty good. I got a big thing of solid albacore tuna fish thing of cocoa because uh, a lot of the recipes that I make ask for cocoa and I'm excited about these I found these and it's three net carbs for brownies um, let me show you the macros here on the back so it says 17 grams of carbs but you subtract three grams of dietary fiber and it's got 11 grams of sugar alcohol, which you can also sub sub subscribe, subtract. Um, so that leaves it at three net carbs. And it just takes eggs, oil, and water. So I'm excited to try those. And I also got no sugar added chocolate chips. Um, they have the Lily's brand. I know a lot of people buy the Lily's brand, but these had less carbs in it. There's nine carbs, four dietary fiber, and it has a three erythritol, which you can subtract that too. 
So that's five. So it's four carbs, four net carbs, which that's not bad for a few. You can have a tablespoon. So I thought I'd put those in with the brownies. Um, I use this Swerve sugar. Um, I cook with it, everything. It's only four, four grams of carbs and four erythritol. So really it's zero and it tastes good. It tastes just like sugar. I had seen some people on Facebook use this. It's canned, um, hearts of palm noodles. And I mean, I've been wanting something noodly. So I thought I'd give these a try. I've never tried them. I will let you know how they taste. Four grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. So it's two grams net carbs. Um, serving size, where'd you go here? Serving size, three servings per container. It just says 75 grams. So I'll let you know how those are. I've been wanting to try them, something noodly. I, I go through a lot of mozzarella. So I get this big bag, five pound bag at Walmart, it's $13. And we divvy it up in baggies and freeze it. Um, I can't use creamer in my coffee anymore. So I've been getting these triple chocolate little K-cups. These are so good. And I found this one is toasted coconut. Um, I like the vanilla too. These are not keto friendly, but Jason got these. They're mashed potatoes. Instant. These are my favorite in the world. They're fat bombs, fat cups, mint chocolate, seven grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, sugar alcohol is three. So it's got one gram of carb per serving per one. And I mean, they are so, so good. It's got MTC oil in it, which is a good fat to keep you full. So there's that. If you guys, do you guys really need to try those? I got those at Walmart. They're the Equate, the Walmart brand. I love Jello, and Walmart has these sugar-free Jello cups. Um, and they also had these are the only three they had. Right, I bought more of these. These have got the. Um, whipped cream right in them and they're sugar free uh, let's see one gram of carb one sugar alcohol so really there's nothing in it um, it's got strawberry lemon lime and orange and then these ones have got strawberry lemon lime sour cherry and orange and the sour cherry is delicious I love it and with the whipped cream over there it'd be really good so I think that is all of our Walmart haul. And I'll let you know how those noodles taste. So yeah, and I'm doing really good on keto. So any questions, feel free to message me. And thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. This time.